the Space Hole ones here again, um, aka Death Clock. Uh, I'm going to do another video on just some basic skips, um, mainly revolving around map paths. Um, I'm going to go through this on my level 70 monk, just for the sake of mobility. Uh, I'll be able to get around a lot quicker and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I mentioned a little bit wrongly in the last video that Monk's Teleport works like Monk. Monk's Dashing Strike works like Monk's Teleport, and that's bad phrasing. It should be works like the Wizard's Teleport. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, <clears throat> a major area we're skipping is, uh, in the last video I showed one where I walked down a set of stairs uh, to save King. You can actually dash down that. Uh, another one is on our way to the Spider Queen. So what I'm going to do is go to the caverns in adventure mode and backtrack a little. So we're going to go up and if you can see this area up here I can dash right up there. And it works the same going down, so I might miss, but there it is. That's our... that's one route skip. Saves us a lot of time, and when you have dashing strike, it makes things a lot easier. Uh, another good place uh, to skip, um, you probably saw me do it when I was going to the Skeleton King is since I know this is a direct path, I can just blast through. I can go past gaps, and I can go straight to my boss encounter. Unobstructed. Um, there are only a few areas where you can actually do that. Um, the, pardon me, the cathedrals won't have it so much, um, Act 1 has those two particular things. Uh, when you're going through quest mode, you'll be required to go to the Drown, uh, Drown Temple and the Festering Woods. Uh, the quest is going to ask you to go to the Drown Temple first. You'll have to go down here, speak to your quest giver, Alaric will tell you to go into the Festering Woods after that bridge animates in. And as it applies to speedrunning, what you can do is first find one of the areas, which should be... ah, here we go. It's right here, the Warrior's Rest. It's always going to be along that path. A lot of times it's going to be closer. Um, there will be an orb here to collect. Then you can just hurry out. When I get out of here, I will want to just find the next area as soon as I can. Here it is. So I'll go through. Collect my item. Pull up my map, and it's actually faster to just select that waypoint than to walk back. And I had mentioned before that there's uh, Massacre bonuses, and that's one of them. So if you kill a minimum of, I believe it's 15 monsters, it'll start counting and it'll go uh, accumulating a fuse. So you would come here, and this is one of the orbs you would have had to collect. There would be a Shining Pedestal. Uh, this is another one. And there's one of your skips. So again, from the Festering Woods in the second of the two areas, once you get there, uh, easy way to save some time. Um, going through the highlands, uh, again, very straightforward, uh, so you can just always, it's, uh, you can always go up and left. Um, there's a skip in the southern highlands as well, when we're getting up to this area. So after you defeat the Spider Queen, you're going to come out 
of this particular area. And come up here. No, that's not it. And you'll encounter this section. Now, it's a windy path around, but if you go here, you can skip all of it. And I pass my waypoint for the northern islands, and then you can just go avoid a lot of trouble. And then you're in the courtyard. Easy peasy. Um, the teleport across gaps will help you uh, in Act 2 as well. Um, Road to Alcarnas will be a good way of getting around. Um, Desolate Sands, uh, on your way to Zoltan Cool, uh, dashing will help. Um, mainly in the tombs, there's going to be bridges, and there's going to be small areas that you can sort of take advantage of. And I'll show you what I mean. I want to find one in particular. I must wait to use that ability. This fight is over. Nope. I will That's one area that you'll get. Story mode. Right there, I did something bad. I ran out of dashing strike charges. Ah, here we go. Vault of the Assassin. In here, you'll see that there are a lot of very small close areas, and an area like this is crossable with a teleport or a dash. So you can save a bit of time just by doing that. Um, especially here. It would get me to the end. Uh, there happens to be a lore book. Generally, you don't want to pick up much of that extra stuff because it will slow you down. Um, where else? Uh, in Act 3, um, Rackus Crossing will be pretty key uh, for getting across quickly. Um, teleport and Dash are going to be your two main things. Uh, oh, this is uh, excellent. I'll explain just what happened in a second there. That's a fleeting shrine, which increases your movement speed, but this particular item is called Nemesis Bracers, and it summons a enemy champion at any shrine or pylon, and that being a shrine. So uh, I can explain what shrines and pylons are and the different functions of them in a, later in this video, but I'll save that. Uh, enlightenment will give you various things, either experience or resource. And since I want to get across this bridge as fast as possible, what generally is I'm going to do is just go. Uh, there are a lot of areas that on different uh, planes will allow me to just dash up. There, that's better. So this height has an obstruction so I can go. So I'll just go around, no problem. And again, up, no big deal. Uh, the Bridge of Corsic is very short, so there's uh, no need. Um, uh, again, 
no problems. Stoneforge, very linear uh, battlefields. Uh, not so bad. Uh, Act 4, there's not really uh, very many skips in, of the same nature. Uh, in the Pandemonium Fortress, uh, it's very RNG. So this game will give you just whatever kind of layout. The only consistent part will be the first portion. And that is about it for skips. Uh, I went through the dialogue ones in the last video. So that is it for me.